Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are doing a hoard from drug addicts and homeless who had broken into a rental and have completely, completely destroyed it. So we found the sharps container. It's actually a urinalysis container that they're using as a sharps container. You can hear alcohol pads and, and things like that all the way around this room. So I'm pretty sure this is the room where they were having their fun. We are in Tampa, just five minutes away uh, from our office, which is really, really convenient. It's really awesome because we never get jobs like this. So we do, are doing a hoard from drug addicts and homeless who had broken into a rental and have completely, completely destroyed it. Today's goal is to do one trailer and try to get as much stuff from the first and second floor in that trailer. Should be good to go. All right guys, so the weather outside is looking quite frightful, not in a winter wonderland kind of way, um, but we had a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico that has recently broken up. I feel sad for it because you know, we all hate breakups, but we're getting all of the rain. He was going really, really, really fast. So yeah, we're getting all of the rain from that and it should be hitting in about an hour. Oh, if it rains on a job, we just keep going. Just be a little wet. We know some of you guys like it wet. It's not a bad looking house though. I mean, from the outside. Can't really tell much about the inside just yet. We're gonna focus solely on downstairs right now. Yeah. That's an old RCA from like 1921. Thanks, sir. Um, there's, no, there's no electricity, you can't open up the windows. But we got this. That was a really good run there, Tyler. Yeah. Mice over there. Dead? No. Just alive. Where? I don't do mice or rodents that are alive. Alright, Nick. <laughs> yeah, so it's an old house. Dodge and weave. Dodge. Dodge and weave. Dodge. Uh, yay. Yeah, I mean, it's just a tight fit. You have two big burly men and then you have me, so I just kind of squeeze in and around them. They have to like literally walk around each other. <laughs> Why did you do that to me? I didn't know you were that close. <laughs> Everything is, it's a total crash out. Nick. What? You want a sea clamp? Ginormous. Oh. Look who showed up to the job site. Not on purpose. I didn't know I was coming here. There's no. Yeah. I was dropping off my mini me. You got a baseball swing? Uh, a little bit, but you see it? mainly not for baseball. You want to see? No. You want to show it? No, I'm good. That's just an embarrassment. <laughs> I just didn't, didn't take my gloves off. I didn't want to give Jack Jack a hug <laughs> with my dirty gloves on. Am I thirsty? Those are cool. Those are old. Let me see the year. They're all there too. Not broken. Just the box is messed up. 1997 National Champions. Yeah. Back. So the client inherited it from her father. Yeah, so she had walk and talk. Walk and talk, guys. So she inherited the house. Um, and that's when and she kind of just left it vacant until she figured out what she wanted to do with it. And that's when um, she noticed that drug addicts and things like that were were living in here and actually just trashed the whole place. Oh my god! <sighs> this stuff we're gonna set aside. Yeah, anything anything personal like that. She said she'd like this to keep. Yeah, she's actually gonna renovate it and turn it into a rental. There he is. What's going on? Leaving? Oh, getting on in there. You're doing good. Hey, how you feeling? 
Are you going swimming today? Hey, come here. Squeeze his arm and say squishy. I'll make the cat. Huh? Squeeze his arm, say squishy. Yeah, squishy. Yeah. He's walking around and grabbing everybody saying squishy. Hi, yeah. man. You He's have a good what? day. You be careful. He's the only non squishy one Look. here. Bye, handsome. Muscle. Whoa! Super gecko muscle. <laughs> His side gave out, and my side, that's funny as shit. The handle just broke. Then when his side gave out, my side dropped and just popped my shoulder out of place and then back in. Bye, Jack-Jack! Bye, Jack-Jack! <laughs> God. Do it again. <laughs> Annie, you got a hole in the back of your shirt. It's not too good. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's, that's ash crack territory. Uh-uh. I ain't about that. I knew going into it, it was a friend of a friend, but I love the fact that it's an actual friend of Lauren and Laura. And I got to see my little buddy today, Jack Jack. So all around, it is an awesome Friday Eve. My inner, my inner 90 year old lady was screaming. Screaming. I hate seeing beautiful glass destroyed. I hate it. Kills me. Sorry. I'm doing like the finishing touches on each room. It's a historic place. It's gonna end up being gutted and then rebuilt. And I'm hoping to God that she'll keep like a character that's still in here because I love houses like 1914 is when this house was built. 1920s. There you go. 1914. You were way off, Nick. Just don't. He was off. 1920, four years. He was off. Six years. Six years. Wow, go back to kindergarten. Make me. <laughs> Give me the trash like that. The trash that I am. Freaking phenomenal. Original hardwood floors out there. Crown molding around the top here. You have the crown molding there. Betty White is older than sliced bread. Betty White was born in 1922. Sliced bread was started in 1928 and this house was built in 1914. So, Betty White might be older than sliced bread, but this house definitely beats both of them. Period. Show us what you're really hiding there. Not a good enough camera. <laughs> oh it doesn't magnify it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Us carnies have to stick together and... Oh my god, yes. I'll grab the plastic cup off the floor and be like, oh, back, and you're like, with a half a house on your shoulder. And we'll see who walks out at 35 years old with back problems. Me! <laughs> grab that. That's handmade. Somebody made that for somebody. Yeah, you want to see this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, that's my weak arm. Uh, Come on, this is my masturbation arm. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So we found the sharps container. It's actually a urinalysis container that they're using as a sharps container. Um, so because it's already being used as a sharps container, I'm gonna go ahead and the caps are not on these, or the caps are on these guys. So. I'm good to just safely pick them up and drop them in. If the caps were not on them, obviously I'm not gonna stick my hand in it, but if the cap was not on them, even here, the whole bottle full, um, I would actually grab a pair of pliers and put those guys in there. Better safe than sorry. Um, good thing is, is the caps were on them so I didn't have to Go get a pair of pliers, but there's alcohol pot, alcohol pads and, and things like that all the way around this room. So I'm pretty sure this is the room where they were having their fun. Um, so at this point, by state law, we're not allowed to go over the side walls of the trailer. Obvious reasons, it's safety. You don't want to turn a corner and a whole bunch of stuff fall out. So uh, when the trailer is full and it reaches its full capacity, which means that we're up to the side walls, which on this guy we have eight, Eight foot side walls, I think, then we're good to go. Next, I want to hit it with the golf club. He said he found his wife beater. 
Nah, you're throwing those away, actually. The white beaters. Table legs. I am so done with you. Exactly. Now that the downstairs is completely cleared out, I'm going to go ahead and start taking photos of the upstairs because we're actually going to be able to start the upstairs today, which is wicked awesome. I'm assuming... Duplex? It used to be an apartment up here and an apartment down here. Yeah. And in 1914, when it was originally built, it was probably one whole house and the staircase was probably somewhere back here. Why do you say that? Or right up here on the side, because it's just how old houses are normally built. True. John! Oh, come Mailman! The floor upstairs is a little sketchy, so we sent the, uh, the carny upstairs, and he's just dropping stuff downstairs. We'll see how it goes, but you can see. Got a little bit of room left. Sure. I got it. Got it? Yeah. Now the landing is super small, plus there's a lot of soft spots, so I don't want a lot of people in this front room, safety issue wise. I've already got that room cleared out. So apparently the front room is already, or the front bedroom is already cleared out, and we just have this stairway area, foyer, foyer area. All right. Got it? Yep. It's almost complete. We'll probably have to take a couple more loads here in the next couple days. Step with one foot first and then put your weight on it. There we go, there we go. Lower, lower, lower. Drop it. And drop it like it's hot. That is called redneck engineering. Brush the shoulders. But that's all the, the wood grain and everything that they've chewed. We're good in here, Kyle. Yeah, you want to close? You want to just clean that? Yes. Are you hot? That's an understatement. I'm like dying here. The rain didn't help? The rain helped cool us down, but it did not help with the humidity, which made it even worse. So that is not. No, from the rain, that is from where? My shirt. Just bring it out. So we have the owner here, Brock, who is going to uh, tell us a little bit of history. So this is something that doesn't happen very often, but she was more than welcome to help us out today. Um, yes, I think the house was built in 1929. It, um, has had several owners. My family acquired it in the early 90s, I think. And so my father got it. It was a, a demolition property or something along those lines. There's a story behind that, but, but you know, anyway, it, that's how he acquired it. He did some work on it and um, it's been in the family ever since. He passed a couple of years ago and left it to me. And he has, I have a sister and he has four grandchildren that I would like to let them decide what they want to do with it because I don't have a heart to do it. Okay. I just need to like get it livable or rentable and see if um, what the grandkids, the four grandkids would like to do with it. Because each of the kids, myself and my sister, we have our own properties. So, and my property happens to be very near his property. Um, real close. Which is convenient. <laughs> Super Very convenient. close. Yes. And so um, I don't want it to sit vacant any longer. And the grandchildren have gotten older. So if ever they needed some place to live, they could always be assured that they would be able to live from their grandfather. Awesome. So, That's yeah. Awesome. So, are you so ready? let me see what you guys did yeah, today. Let's, let's wow. Right here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. And then I'll just set this one right here. Okay, for later. So wow. you remember this room? Yes. Wow. Couldn't hardly walk. You couldn't even see out the window. No. Um, and this room was pretty much the same. There was wow. a giant changing table in here and the mattress and things like that. Yeah. So we, and all, um, the carpet padding. Yes. It was super easy. It was already lifted, so I just rolled it up and oh, we took fantastic. it out for you. 
So here's a couple of pieces of furniture that were requested to be saved for refinishing. Yes. yes. We have the kitchen. Wow. Kitchen is completely empty. Fantastic. Uh, we named the room behind you the bag room. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, because this was, was full, full, full of bags. bags. So we cleared everything out of here as well. Oh, nice. Awesome. So you're pretty Thank much you. the first floor, 100% is a clean slate. Yes. Um, so the goal today was to fill one trailer. We have everything out of here. Okay. Um, like I said, on our second roundabout, mm -hmm. we'll do a scrapper for you. Um, set everything out by the road. Um, okay. So let's take a walk upstairs. Yeah, so this is all termite room. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the house is very active with termites. Oh, really? So, so I would have all, to of get... the, all of the furniture that we have found up here. Oh, wow. Actually completely fell apart. Oh, fantastic. So you remember we could hardly get up yes, the stairs. exactly. This is completely clean as well. Oh, awesome. I guess I should close these windows down. Yeah, so now that we're up here and we're able oh, wow. to, we can actually close the windows that are open. Awesome. Things like that. Everything else is cleared out. Wow, that is nice. Look at all the... This was yes. actually from one piece of furniture. Wow. One piece. There was a wow. big entertainment center yes. over here. That was from, that. all of wow. this was from that one entertainment center. Wow. Yikes. They were having a field day. Yes. Yes. Yikes. Yes, they were. Awesome. Well, I appreciate everything you guys did. It looks Absolutely. great. Thank you. Absolutely. That's what we're yes. here for. So would you say that's another dumpster? I would say that's probably a small dump. So we have our big one, which we call uh -huh. Big Bertha. Uh -huh. And then we have our small dump trailer. Uh -huh. Looking around through here, uh -huh. we have a lot of books. We, we do have some furniture back here. But I would say that this would be equivalent to our small dump trailer. And that right there is really bad. There's a couple of other really soft spots over uh -huh. here. Do you want to try to avoid going, stepping on this one? That one there. Oh, I guess I should do the... Yeah, let's do these windows. Which really one is it that's really, really soft, you said? I have, the I have your trash can over it, and there's actually a hole down there as well. Oh, okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave these garbage bags here for the next time. Yes, sir. We'll see you on the next go-round. All righty. All righty, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Today, we are finished with the first portion. Filled the whole dump trailer. I'm glad Nick is just chilling out for a second because we all need to break pads on the back of the truck. Nick's there. It was kind of intense. Um, we're all done with this first portion. We were able to fill completely the trailer. Uh, to completely fill the trailer. I don't know. You guys know I'm kind of weird sometimes. We got the entire first floor done. The client is super, super, super happy with what we've done. And we've got almost almost the whole upstairs and we have three rooms left upstairs so stay tuned for the part two of this guy hey guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe pause for the cause and ring that bell to get notifications when we launch our new episodes every thursday have a good day guys peace for more information visit any of our locations that's it guys, on to the next.